Coming to an end here at yet another Jad kill. Another pretty smooth run, but I think it's going to be a little bit slower than the previous times because I have been using Adam and Darts right here. Uh, that is another 25k experience. Oh, actually, only 48 minutes. That's pretty cool. 440 tasks as well. I do not see anything. No, no pet. Okay. No pet. Okay, okay, okay. Please. Please. I have a fire cape. Bargain it. And uh, please. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I actually haven't checked my kingdom for the past two months and I was down to about 30% approval but I actually want to see how much resources I actually got. So if we quickly collect this one, oh this is rather disappointing actually. For being two months, obviously the, um, yeah wow, okay this this is not going to be a lot of money. Uh, I'm quickly going to see how much I can get from this. There's a lot of nests so that will make up for it but um, I want to see how much I lost actually. How much money is still in, I shall tell them to bring it, okay. I still only have 29k in there, so I lost about a good million on that one, so I'm going to deposit another million and hopefully actually be a little bit more um, active on this one to keep my approval rate higher, because down to 30%, it's really not efficient to put money in your kingdom. I've got all the loot of the kingdom in my inventory and I got pretty lucky on my burst nest seed. I actually got myself a juice seed, a magic seed, two ma maple seeds, two spirit seeds and six willow seeds. So that's actually going to add quite some value. So we're going to come out at 1.7 million. So 700k profit for not doing anything. Unfortunately, it did take about two months to get this, which uh, isn't the fastest way. But I'm pretty happy with the results. That is 700k profit. I think it's been well over like 500 abyssal demon kills since I actually got myself a superior. So here is the first one for the unsold abyssal head. And obviously Obviously I had a full totem and I didn't drop the piece. Lucky me. I literally almost got back to back superiors. I got one here then I think it was only like two minutes ago and I got another one. I also got one totem piece during the task and I already had two. So that was another one from the Insatiable Blood Veld. And here is another one. So we're getting close to more full totems. So I think I will actually do some more Scotizu at the end of this. Oh, and by the way, like 5k away from level 98 hit points. Let's go level 98 hit points right here. And I'm only 190k away from hitting level 94 slayer as well. Unfortunately, no Trimor Nuclear Smoke Devil task yet. So hopefully that will be soon. But uh, yeah, I'm getting close on my 450th task as well. And we got 98 hit points, 1.228 million to go to level 99. And together with magic, only 444k to go. Um, I got a maxed out Zerker, which is pretty damn sick but uh, yeah 98 hit points it's gonna take a while to get that 1.2 million but uh yeah so close man i can really taste it task 449 is coming to an end here receiving another 12 points really close to 450 and getting that boost but uh what i'm here for is actually the loot i managed to get a total of let's quickly price check this um, the Bloodveld heads are about 70k, then I got 124k cash, I got the key to 22k, and, well, the thing I actually keep forgetting, <laughs> I got 578 blood runes, so in total that should make up for 220 plus 130, so yeah, actually not that much loot, I think I spent more on super restores, but really good experience right here, uh, and also a really chill and AFK task to do, so I'll definitely take it, 98 hit points I got on task as well, which is uh, pretty cool. 172k to go to level 94 slayer. On kill count 1191, I got myself a Kraken Tentacle. Unfortunately, this is still one of those drops that's not that pricey. That's like 95k, but uh, I'll definitely take it. Hopefully, a Trident will continue from this as well, because I still have well over 100 kills to go. 152, so there's still a chance that I could get myself a Trident as well. Hey, admit it, this is, this is magic. This is magic, 1191 Kraken Tentacle. I finish my recording, literally I start killing it, but when the recording is saved, I get myself to try and of the seas full. That's another million to the bank. Beautiful, fucking beautiful. I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea what is with my luck today, but I'll fucking take it. That is another million to the bank, 118 kill cards still to go. That is just beautiful. Last trip, I made over 200, 2 mil, actually, uh, in my inventory, which is pretty insane. And I already got a magic seed. I got to try in here. I got the battle stairs. So it's looking pretty good already. Well, hopefully we can keep up the slack and get like one or two more before this task finishes. Myself another beautiful casket. 110k. Not too shabby. Took me about two and a half to three hours to finally finish up my Kraken task, but here we are with the very last kill for task number 450 completed, receiving 180 points, giving me a total of 1,000 once again. 
Um, not that much good loot anymore. Like, I got average loot, which is still pretty, pretty decent. Um, I think in the two and a half hours I spent here, I roughly made about 4.5 million, which is a really good task. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing the Kraken. It's also pretty good XP and quite AFK, and it adds up to a boss kill count, which is pretty nice. Another jet is about to bite the dust, and that will conclude my another jet kill. That is jet kill number 12. Actually, 47 and 11, I'm really gathering around this time, but that is another 25k Slayer experience to the account as well. Currently, 86,000 to go to level 94, and once again, I do not see a pet, but it is a time for a new bargain. I have a fire cape here. Bargain for the pet, yes. Oh, never lucky. Another jet is about to bite the dust right here. There we go, another kill. 453 task, and wow, I actually thought it was way over an hour. Eventually, it turned out to be pretty good, but uh, oh, no pet, no pet, no pet. Yes, I got myself another jet task. I actually skipped two tasks and I got this one again. I was like, fuck, I'm doing that because that is great XP. 31,000 to go to level 94 Slayer. But we're gonna bargain it once more, please. <laughs> Never ever lucky man, damn it. About to finish my mole task here right off the bat before getting 94 Slayer just as we hit it right there. That is so beautiful. I chose for 35 giant mole kills, which is another 5k Slayer experience for completing my boss task, which is pretty nice. So I got my kill count up to 37. It's not that hard, but it is quite tedious. Uh, but I have to say that the loot is actually quite good because these mole skins and these claws go for quite some money actually. Um, these are 6.6k each and these are 5.9k, so uh, I think you can turn them in for uh, seeds nest as well, which I'm probably gonna do, but uh, yeah, this was a nice change of pace, my second boss task ever, but 94 Slayer right there, 824,000 experience to go to level 95, which is gonna take quite some time, I set that as to um, 93 to 94 as well, and it actually went quite fast, but uh, yeah. 94 Slayer right here, we are currently 298k away from level 99 magic, which is something I'm gonna be um, getting out right now with my Slayer tasks as well. And then I'm gonna sell all the loot I got from 92 to 94 Slayer. Since the other PVM loot of monsters I would kill right now on Slayer to get my 99 mage wouldn't count, I'm actually gonna sell my Slayer tab first. Currently at 14 mil, and these are the most um, expensive items that were still in the bank. 650 battle staves. Obviously, there is quite some battle staves from the dailies in here. I think about 400 are dailies, and the other ones are actually from Slayer. Then I got three full tridents from 92 to 94 as well. It's two whips, and if we're gonna sell all of this, I'm just gonna... Quickly throw it in here, not really gonna care too much if it um, sells for the highest or not, but oh my god, look at this. I got currently 14.8 um, million, and we're gonna go all the way up to 27 point four million that is beautiful and that is also the loot from my slayer except for the mole stuff um these are worth about 660k and i still want to see if um i turn them into nests how much i'm gonna get for that so that's why i saved them uh, but that is a nice addition of cash to the account right there and if we bank all we are currently worth 146.1 million which is pretty cool so basically i'm sustaining my amount of money uh, that the account is worth but in the same time i'm getting higher levels which is pretty cool so 1704 total right now quickly gonna sell um, and exchange these for bird's nest and see if that is actually profitable or not but a lot of people said me it would so uh, hopefully we get lucky and maybe pull out a magic seed the seeds were pretty bad and eventually I got 648k so I lost about 15k which obviously is not that bad but still I'm probably not gonna do it anymore and just gonna sell the mole parts as they are. One of my absolute favorite tasks in old school runescape is unfortunately coming to an end but I got myself some good xp and actually really good rewards once again. One unfortunate thing is that I got myself 5 ancient shards in the less than 200 dust devil skills which is uh, pretty insane to be honest. I only got one totem piece, I didn't get any superior, but five ancient shards. The unfortunate thing about this is even that I do not need this, like I can't even wear the Arclight, which is kind of sad, but uh, I got myself, uh, yeah, well this is not right because I've been doing some uh, training today, but I got myself 65k magic experience, which is pretty good, so currently 233k away from hitting level 99. Another jet kill is coming in, and I think this is actually kill number 15, if I can actually hit, come on, please go for it, and this should also be normally my fastest um, jet trip 
trip over actually, 43.21, fuck yes, speed run it, uh, 14 kill count though, not 15, but uh, yeah, here we got another cape, unfortunately no bad, once again, we're gonna exchange, probably, I'm gonna go and say again, never lucky, but uh, yeah, who knows, uh, yeah, of course. Something that should have been done a long time ago is about to finally happen. We are currently 163 experience. Oh, you can only one hit these? Wow. And we are about to hit level 99 magic. Let's go another 99 to the account. Only one more to go. 99 HP and 850,000 XP to get myself a maxed out berserker pure and currently we're also like 25 percent in on level 95 slayer which is pretty cool but yeah 99 magic has finally been achieved i've never had this 99 on old school or like on any runescape account either like there's a lot of stuff that i didn't do i was so inefficient like back in the day but this means i can get the magic cape t right here oh so beautiful so damn beautiful. So if we perform the skill cape emote, would you look at that? 99 magic, one more 99 for maxed Zerker pure. But that is going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave this video a like rating. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.